everybody, it's Cheyenne and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm reacting to dental memes, which this is something that I saw on Dr. Mike's channel, which I'm sure other channels have done it, but this is the channel that I most recently seen it on. And I just thought it was really funny. Someone actually like left me a comment a while ago saying that I should collab with Dr. Mike. And I actually had no clue who he was. I assumed he was a dentist, but then I went to his channel and he's a doctor, so yeah. <laughs> But hey, if Dr. Mike's ever watching this, sure, sounds great, sign me up. But, <laughs> all right. <laughs> so I went through and found some dental memes and I just screenshotted them and we're gonna go through them together because they're some pretty good ones. <laughs> when you're just trying to grab a quick history and the patient is like, it all started when I was born. <laughs> oh, okay. If you're a dental assistant, I'm sure you can relate to this because I feel like I'm a dental assistant and a therapist most of the time. I don't know what it is about the dental chair, but as soon as somebody gets in there, they just want to tell you everything that's happened in their whole life. I remember I sat a patient the other day and I brought him back and we had to take an x-ray before I even sat him in the room. And I sat in an x-ray chair and I was like, okay, we're gonna take some x-rays. Are you having any pain? And he just decided to spend 20 minutes telling me about everything. <laughs> Divorces and relationships and I was like, oh my, I don't know what it is, but Squidward, yeah. It all started when I was born. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh gosh, this is dentist starting emergency treatment five minutes before lunch. And then Beyonce is a dental assistant and the other lady's the patient. <laughs> oh, my doctor is actually, he's pretty good about this because, you know, he wants to get to lunch as well, but he did do this to me the other day. It was the very last patient of the day and we worked 10 hour shifts and it was like 5.45. It was the last hygiene patient of the day. She already got her cleaning, he did her exam and he told her like, yeah, we could do those night guard impressions for you today. And I'm sure I was making a face similar to Beyonce's. I was like, are you serious? And alginate impressions at 5.45 when I'm supposed to get off at six o'clock. <sighs> but yeah, I made it work. But yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> patient with hygienist, assistant staff, patient with dentist. I mean, need I say more? <laughs> this is my biggest pet peeve. I am this in my pet peeve video. When a patient insists that they have no chief concerns, then mention significant pain to the doctor. Uh, it drives me crazy when I see a patient and I'm like, is there, are you having any pain anywhere? Are you feeling good? Oh yeah, it feels great. And then I go get my doctor and I tell him, yep, no complaints, they're feeling great. And then we go in the room and he's like, so nothing's going on? Oh doctor, I've been having pain up here for months. And he always looks at me like I'm some idiot. <laughs> but he knows, he knows that patients say different stuff, but he, I'm like, oh gosh. Cause then I have to go and get a picture of it or an x-ray when I could have done that already, Susan. Jeez Louise. Oh gosh. <laughs> Trying not to stare at the curing light like. <laughs> oh, is, it, is that movie called The Birds or The Bird? What is that movie called? I watched it, but I it's called The Birds, right? Oh, I don't remember. That was a pretty crazy movie. But uh, yeah, 100% I'm Sandra Bullock because I'm like a gnat or something that's attracted to lights. I just want to stare at it. And then I feel like if I'm not staring at it, then I'm drifting. And then I'm like away from the tooth. Like if I don't look at it for a few seconds, if I look back, I'm on like a whole different tooth and I'm like, what the heck? So I feel like I have to stare at it to make sure I'm not drifting. <laughs> and then the more I think about it, the more I drift. It's a thing, it's a thing. <laughs> New scrubs, dental girls, existing scrubs. 100%, when I used to work in an office that you could wear whatever scrubs you wanted, oh my gosh. I was looking at scrubs all the time. I always wanted the new Grey's Anatomies because I love them. But this office that I've been in now for a couple years, they actually have their own scrubs and they purchase them for you. And there's like, it's branded or embroidered. Embroidered, is that the word? <laughs> but anyways, so I can't do that anymore. I can't wear any, wear any cool scrubs. 
I do miss wearing cool scrubs though. But yeah. Oh gosh. Preach. Okay. This drives me absolutely insane. And it's so hard because I do work ER days and an ER day at my office is emergencies only. So it's people that are in pain, trying to get them out of pain. But it's so frustrating when you look at their chart and you see that you or the doctor had diagnosed, you know, a root canal like two years ago and they never came in and they've no show to like five, six appointments. And then they're there in emergency and they're like demanding a root canal. And you're like, Susan, I told you two years ago that you needed a root canal. Where have you been? You missed your last six appointments. Girl, girl, girl. If car insurance was run like dental insurance, I only do want to do what's covered by insurance. Mechanic, okay. <laughs> this is funny to me. <laughs> also kind of sad because I understand dental is very, very expensive. But I don't know how many times a day I hear if somebody needs a crown, they're like, can't you just do a filling? Can't you just throw a filling on my whole tooth there and it will stay and be fine? Or people that come in almost every emergency day to get the same filling replaced off like their front teeth because they don't want to pay for a crown because it's not covered by their insurance. Or it's only half covered and it's still like $500 out of pocket and I'm just sitting there like, just pay the $500. Just pay it! Pay the $500. Then you won't be wasting your time coming in all the time. That's funny though. That's a good one. <laughs> I hate the dentist. Well, it's a good thing I'm a dental assistant. I, I don't know how many times I grab a patient and they're like, I don't, I hate being here. I don't want to be here. I hate the dentist. And I'm like, okay, well, nice to meet you too. <laughs> I'm just going to take you on back. <laughs> This. Open up, please, patient. I'm lonely and depressed. <laughs> Again, I don't know what it is with the dental chair. If you work in dental office, you understand because you're a therapist. You really are. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Mm. When they refuse fluoride because it's toxic, but smoke a pack a day. Yeah. I don't really get that one either. It's confusing. I've seen patients literally just get a cleaning done and then you see them walk outside and you can see them through the window and they're smoking on a cigarette. And you're like, really? Even had a guy after an extraction, after I told him, you know, about dry socket and everything like that, that, you know, once you get an extraction done, you can't smoke for, well, we hope up to seven days, but at least a few days at a risk of dry socket, pulling that blood clot out of that socket we just extract that tooth from. And I said smoking, you know, is a really big cause of dry socket. So you're gonna wanna cut that off for a few days, you know? Literally, I was cleaning up my room and he's standing outside my window, smoking. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? And he came in four days later with the dry socket and said how much pain he was in and how terrible his experience was and yada, yada, yada. And I was just like, I wanted to be like, sir, I saw you smoking right outside my window. But I bit my tongue. I bit my tongue. Wet hands plus gloves equals it's complicated. <laughs> so true. I hate when you're working in a procedure and then you can't find your cotton pliers or something. So you, I rip off a glove and like reach in my drawer and then my hands are all sweaty and I grab another glove and I'm trying to force it on real quick so I can proceed with helping my doctor. <laughs> uh, what a mess. <laughs> I think this is from that movie Kindergarten Cop. It looks like it. But um, it says suction, hurry, I cannot swallow my own saliva. <laughs> it's so true, I don't, I tell you patients, they act like they're in therapy and then they lose all human like functions when they're in the dental office. They can't breathe, they can't swallow their own saliva, they can't leave their mouth open, they can't open their mouth, like they, they lose all functions. They can't talk, I've had people like do sign language and I'm like what? What are you trying to say? Like, just use words. But yeah, they can't swallow their own saliva. I don't know. They drool all over the place. All over the place. <laughs> uh, I'm gotten so good with shade matching. Like, not trying to like boost, boost me up here, boost my ego, but I'm hecka good at shade matching. Like, I can just know right then and there, oh, we're doing a filling. I can look at their tooth and be like, oh yeah, 
that's an A3. Yep, that's a C2. Mm -hmm. a little gray toned, it's a C. It's a little yellowy, it's an A tone. I just know like right off the bat, like, yep, I know what that is. Even crowns, I don't even have to like do the shades of crowns very often. I just know right from my head. Like sometimes I usually double check it, but yeah. It's amazing once you start picking out shades that you can guess that. So yeah, I'm sure I've done this before too. Look at people's teeth and I'm like, mm-hmm. C3 right there, C3. <laughs> Close as I get to a spa day is when the steam from the autoclave smacks me in the face. <laughs> True, but I also don't do that because it, the steam freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> like I try to avoid, I would not encourage you to put your face in the steam from the autoclave but it might be the closest thing you might get to a spa day. But I would encourage it. I would not encourage it. We've had this conversation before. If a cabicide wipe falls on the floor, is it dirty or does it clean itself? It's a great question. I personally think it's still clean. Right? You guys think it's dirty? I don't, I personally think it's still clean. I don't know. I think it's clean. <laughs> Gosh. You just started mixing alginate and you're or, and your patient decides to tell you in detail but the last time they had impressions. I've had this happen so many times. And I tell them too, like, okay, I tell them the steps. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna mix it up now. Are you ready? And they're like, yeah. And then I literally pour in the liquid, start mixing. They're like, so did I tell you that my daughter lives in blah, 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 and she's from blah, 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 and she moved here from, I'm like, oh gosh, Susan. I usually just walk over to them and I'm like, okay. And I just pop it in. <laughs> When I'm running behind and the doctor asks for a PA. Yeah, gotta love that too. Also, that happens, like I said, with emergency patients when they say they're not in pain and then the doctor goes in there and do the exam and they're like, oh yeah, I am in pain. I could already got that PA, but no. I couldn't because you decided to withhold details from the dental assistant. A lot of attitude in this video, huh? Feeling attitude-y today. By town for me. No with your back teeth. <laughs> oh gosh. I was making a crown on somebody the other day and this poor lady. It's very hard when you're numb. I totally understand, but we have to take impressions, right? And I had to take a impression before we started the crown prep to make the temporary crown. So I asked her to bite down and she bites like this. She's like, Like her teeth aren't lining up. It's like sideways. I'm like, what the heck is this? So I try to like move her teeth and try to get her to bite down like on your back teeth, you know, back teeth still would not do it. So I actually had to like physically move her jaw to bite down properly. And I felt bad because I wasn't trying to like yank on her jaw. Then my dentist came in to take her impression and she bit funky too. And we had to take the impression like three or four times, like after the crown prep for the crown to be made. It was a lot of fun. There's no crying when looking at today's schedule. <laughs> 100%. I also love to, as a dental assistant, like, I don't know if it's just my office or what, but the front office has no clue how like busy the schedule is in the back. And then like, you guys can do it. It doesn't look that bad. Or today wasn't that bad. It's like, well, not for you, but for the back office. Yeah, it was crazy. Looking for the Mylar strip during a procedure. <laughs> I lose Mylar strips all the time and it drives me crazy. And if you don't know what a Mylar strip is, it's a plastic, little thin piece of plastic that you use for uh, fillings on interior teeth. And it's, you can't see it. Like it's, it's see-through, it's clear. So I've been starting to put them on like two by twos and I can find them usually, but sometimes I fall off the two by two or I can't find it and I'm like, well, Searching all over for this thing. Dentist when a patient tells them how to do dentistry. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> Dentists love when you tell them how to do dentistry. Love it. Your face when the dentist asks you for something and you reply, it's already on your tray. Hmm? Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Hurry won't be enough today. I'll be autoclaved. 100%, 100%. <laughs> I've had days where I'm like, I'm feeling splatter all over my forehead, and my hair, my neck, and I'm just like, mm. yeah, 
I'm gonna need to be autoclaved. Just chuck me in with the last load, please. Those are all really funny. I found these on Pinterest and then I looked up some on Instagram, but yeah, there's a lot of good dentistry ones out there. These are just some of my favorites, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and had a few laughs with me. Please leave me comments. I love them and I hope you guys are having a great day and thank you so much for watching. Oh, I just noticed the sleeve is like super, what, what's going on here? <laughs> super short, but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys so, so much and I hope you guys have a great day. All right, bye guys.